Thursday, Professor of Biology and GHRC Chief Virologist at Texas A&M University. He joins us from College Station in Texas. Thanks so much, Benjamin, for your time. Uh, these are the first cases of local transmission in the U.S. since 2003, and it doesn't appear right now that the cases in Florida and the one in Texas are linked. So why are we seeing malaria cases now in the U.S.? Yes, there are a couple of reasons. Now, with malaria, it always takes two hosts. And the particular strain of malaria that they're picking up is called Plasmodium vivax. This is one that is kind of a human specialist. So it needs both a human population and an infected mosquito population. And humans live a lot longer than mosquitoes. The other property of this particular strain is that once it gets into a person, the first thing it does is it goes down to the liver and it can live in the liver without any symptoms for years at a time. So what we're seeing now are the first symptomatic cases, the first people that are actually getting sick. But it kind of suggests that there is a larger population of people that are probably carrying this strain and do not yet know it. So it's a little bit difficult to exactly figure out where this is going or how widespread this is. But for right now, as the CDC said, it's still a fairly rare disease. Is it then very concerning, I mean, for Americans, for people living in the state of Texas, where you are, how much do they know about malaria? Because in, in countries, large parts of Central, um, uh, Central America, South America, Africa and Asia, malaria is very common. It kills hundreds of thousands of people every year. So how well known is it in the United States? And do people know what to do to prevent malaria from spreading? Yeah, I think the mood here is uh, generally, if people are ignoring COVID, which kills a lot more, they uh, have no problem ignoring <laughs> something else. The strain that uh, they're finding in Texas and Florida is actually the same one that you get in uh, places like Turkey right now. And so this is a less lethal version of it. There are much worse strains that tend to be found most commonly in parts of Africa that would be uh, perhaps of a greater concern. But there's always the possibility that this virus or this um, uh, parasite rather can spread. So there are mosquitoes that used to have malaria parasites in them that extend all the way up through Canada. Uh, Southern Canada used to be part of the malaria belt. And only by treating in humans and draining swamps at the same time were they able to knock malaria back. So this is something that is still endemic in Mexico and does come across the border. It's a fact of life for travelers. But now it may become a fact of life for some Americans as well if this continues to spread. Is there the possibility that it, it could spread even more because it is summer now in the United States, Texas and Florida and large parts of uh, the southern United States do get incredibly hot and we see malaria uh, spreading uh, more so in areas that are very warm? Right. Mosqui mosquitoes are not particularly strong flyers. They usually live and die in a very small area, maybe a couple hundred meters uh, is their entire life. So it's the people that move around and encounter new populations of mosquitoes. And so right now, we're probably looking at two populations of both people and mosquitoes that have at least some level of the malaria parasite. There are a lot more mosquitoes and a lot more people that could be infected. And the real question is how many people are harboring this particular parasite but do not know it right now? It's fairly common in many parts of the world, as you said. And the number could be considerably higher, uh, probably not you know, too much higher. But this is something that is on the CDC's watch list and something that they are suggesting needs to be treated very, very carefully and very quickly. So it's certainly something that they'll be keeping a close eye on. Benjamin Newman, thank you so much for explaining that so well to us live from College Station in Texas.